All right, let's try, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Where you at? Boom. Let's see if it works. I don't know. Keep for president now. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. Yo, 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 yo. That's bad. Ah, uh, US 30. Trying to set your count up? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, Can you hear me? Like, I hear you, but I can't see you. You know what I'm saying? So, show US 30. I'll show you a little something. I'm up. Like, that's my setups up right now. You know, um, these fucking trades were, were annoying and shit, though, honestly. Like, I've been inside of it from the start of the consolidation zone um, all night. All night. Yo, you gotta get some better connection because if not, um, it's not gonna, you know, go through. Especially on live, you know what I'm saying? It has to be some A one quick connection. I don't know. I don't know where yet, but um, the interview is going to be pretty dope. He, he showed me some of the questions and everything. Very, very different questions for the most part. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to, you know, get to, you know, know some of my interests and whatnot. So hopefully he gets his shit together so we can actually go through with this, right? You know? Um, do, do I sleep much at night? I mean, once I set my stop loss, you know, it's very, very calculated. Um once I said that, then I pretty much just knock out because regardless if I stay up or if I sleep, you know, stop loss is gonna is gonna be there to save or you know. But for this trade, um, initially it was just like five k risk, and now I'm at twenty five thousand dollars risk for obviously a bigger reward. Um, shooting probably for like around eighty thousand, ninety thousand, um, if everything like you know works out, but. Let's see. Let's see. You know? I missed the in-person party sees. Yeah, man. Um, I was supposed to be doing, like, one or two, but I don't even know, you know, because, like, it's it's been a while, and um, I don't know. Like, things are just, like, a bit different. So I'm not even too too sure about them. But I'm saying, like, I might even try to do, like, an online body course just to kind of, like, you know, I'm substituted for even, like, one or two classes. But it's kind of um, different, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, the in-person body course is, is a overall experience thing. My boyfriend is going to Miami. Can you please link with him? I don't know about that. I don't, I don't really link up with random people, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. Like, you don't understand. Like, I don't meet up with... Just because you follow me on, on, on IG, I'm not going to meet up with you. Like, I have to actually know you to actually go out, out of my way to meet up with you, you know? What time frame do I focus on on US 30? US 30, a lot. Um, H1, H1, H4, mainly H4. I mean, you have to also incorporate daily time frame as well, like, to try to see, like, where that overall volume is. But um, what he said? All right, cool. I'm coming back in five. All right, just check your, your connection and everything else so everything is solid. Um, yeah, so US 30, um, you know, you got to pretty much just be, be able to, to understand, like, you know, what the overall direction is, like, where the overall volume is, and then pretty much play everything from there. Um, like, I, I caught the whole move um, when, when the market actually gapped up. I had a entry price around 25, 6, I think 650, um, and I caught the entire move up, made like 35,000 off of that. Um, Great exit, but well, actually, I exited fucking early as hell. Um, I missed out on like probably twenty five thousand, so it could have been at fifty thousand dollars, um, or like sixty thousand dollars in total profit. But I got out super super early. But um, 
now starting to retrace and whatnot. So I mean, yeah. Do I give signals to my students? No, because my, my, my students aren't lazy. They're, um, they're not dependent on me. Um, they grind it out, you know what I'm saying? They actually study to actually, you know, make what they got to make. And then they, they make what they got to make anytime that they want to make it. You know, so that's what it is. And, 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 and this is the main reason as to why I'm, I'm so okay with not doing as many body courses, all right? I feel like this. I, I put enough value of my value out there um, for the younger generation, you know, traders or, 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 or mentors to actually, you know, follow through with everything that I pretty much, you know, taught or put out there and that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, I, I like started five DC, like five day courses and that kind of shit. Um, and you have a bunch of new people that pretty much started doing body courses too. So, I mean, I kind of like set that, that print to, you know, let these new upcoming mentors and traders go along with that because, I don't, I, I don't give a fuck about that anymore, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's like I kind of already graduated from that, that entire phase of stuff, you know? So it's kind of good to see, you know, these new upcoming traders, you know, take things seriously and, and try to bring on students and that kind of stuff to actually, you know, get them to where they want to be. So that's why I'm so okay with, you know, not doing um, Friday courses or not doing as much, but really not doing them like how I was because... It's a newer um, generation now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they're fucking weird as hell. Don't get me wrong. The, the, the new generation mentors and traders are fucking weird. Um, but, I mean, that's what, that's what it is, you know? So I can't really stop that. But, you know? But, yeah. Um, starting to drop a little bit. 25,000, 26,000. Um, flown pretty, pretty nice. What's the best trading tools? Everything that that fucking trading view g gives you, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, just understanding price action, understanding candlestick analysis, understanding technical analysis, understanding fundamental analysis, understanding, you know, every all, all all the tools that you have to actually, you know, use to analyze the pure market and that kind of shit. But as far as indicators, I don't really use the indicators like that, honestly. But that's but but that's like the the best like recommendation like when it comes to that kind of stuff. But but yeah, like that, that's why I wasn't really stressing on doing um in person classes honestly. So like I said, upcoming mentors and shit are very fucking weird, honestly. But hey, <laughs> that's what it is, I guess. Straight up, YDC helped shape my future for sure, for sure. Facts, you know what I'm saying? And I, I really appreciate that, too. You know what I'm saying? So people that actually came to, to the body course, remember, like, I don't know how many classes I, I've taught, you know, from 2016 to 2019. But, I mean, I, I gave enough value out there to make those people, um, you know, carry on the legacy, in a sense, you know? So I'm, I'm completely okay with that. Do you use an institutional order flow? I don't know what the fuck that is. I feel like people, like they, they try to, uh, they people worry too much about what how banks trade. Like who gives a fuck about how banks trade? Do you have a billion dollars to trade with? Then you can't trade the same as a bank. You know what I'm saying? Like I personally don't give two fucks about how how a bank trades. I make the money. How I make my money. I, I don't care how how a bank trades. Two fucks, <laughs> honestly. The best advice you could give when transitioning from um uh from break even trader to profitable trader that that's a thing really um uh, don't w once you have your stop loss set you know keep that there until you're up a certain amount of pips you know what i'm saying because if you have your stop loss set and then right when you're in profit you break you move your stop loss to break even like you're you're kind of taking yourself out, out of the game immediately you know what I'm saying? So I feel like just, you know, keep your stop loss where it is. Like, um, on this trade, for example, like, if, if you even just, j just look at the, the dynamics of, like, this entire trade, right? Like, right now, right? I'm up 26,000, right? But the entire, like, 
I've been in since around here. You know, it came closer to stop loss. The all these stop losses are just ten, right? So if you say, um, okay, my price points, right? Two thirty-two to stop loss, two thirty-six. So I, I I always give myself a hundred points of fluctuation from all all of my stop loss. So so technically, this is all point fifties. So technically, each and every trade is um worth negative five thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's like at the worst. So, um, it never came close. Well, it came close to stop loss, but I mean, like stop loss was set at a good point to like you know not get hit through that fluctuation range, which is which is which is sweet, honestly. So, like right now, it's just you know it's it's kind of like slowly getting out of that consolidation zone, but it's like that, that's like the the rough patch, in a sense. So, like I said, like my projection for this trade. You know, it, it could be around, you know, sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eighty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Which will be sweet because I made thirty five yesterday, you know. So that would um definitely start the week off right and then I would have to trade for, for the rest of the week, pretty much. Have I taught anyone from Africa? Of course. I have I have a bunch of students from South Africa and that kind of shit. But I mean I don't keep track. But um there's definitely a lot of students in Wall Street Academy that, that's from Africa though. Definitely, definitely, definitely. How many accounts did I blow before you started seeing real profits? I don't know. I, don't, I didn't count. I just, if I fucked up an account, get back on it. Fucked up an account, get back on it. I um. I feel like you, you make no progress by keeping track of how many accounts that, that you blow. Don't give a fuck about how many accounts I blow, um, personally. It just means that you, you probably over leverage or, or something. How about Jamaica? There's a bunch of students from Jamaica. Once again, I don't keep track. It's definitely students from Jamaica. A lot of students flew to my body courses from Jamaica, you know, so. Hey Q, do I do one-on-one -on -one mentorship? I really don't personally. Like I, I don't have that much. Um, it, it, it takes away from the, from the body course experience and plus a one-on-one -on -one with me for that similar amount of time is going to be very expensive. And I feel like I'm not going to even charge one person that I'd rather them, you know, wait for if I ever do like a in-person class or something like that. If not, then that's what it is. But I mean, I don't, because if I give my, my attention to what, 25 students, you know what I'm saying? To give it to one person, that's going to be very expensive. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to even bother with that. I wouldn't even even do that. What's my main confirmation I use for entries? It's never a main confirmation. It's it's really case by case. What about my um the signals? I mean the, the signal app is still is still there, definitely. It's it's always running. Um I don't control it. It's it's always there. It's automated. Does money matter to me still because I have a small account? Well, what do you mean does it doesn't matter to me still? What if they're willing to pay? If a person's willing to pay, then then they're willing to pay, but it's going to cost you about like 25000 So that's what I'm saying. This is like um, an entire class to one person. That's not, nah, you know? Do I believe in compounding? I really don't, personally. Um, most people aren't even good enough to even consistently make profit every single trade. So I really don't believe in compounding. Thoughts on FTMO? Watch. If you haven't watched my um, YouTube video, my, the one-on-one -on -one with Q video, definitely check it out. All right? Definitely check that. Check, check it out. It definitely went, um, did really, really great on feedback and, and everything else. I feel like it was it's like a movie, in a sense. It's 53 minutes or something like that. So definitely check it out. Well, let me see if um, I do this back on here. I can't see you, man. I'm waiting on you, bro. Bro, please do a Confluence 3.0. There's been a Confluence 3.0. You're asleep. Been a, been a Confluence 3.0 from over like a year ago. 
No compounding, then what? Then make fucking profit. Compounding is, is a certain method of, of making profit. You kind of like up your lot size each and every trade based off of how many pips that you catch in each and every trade, blah, 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 whatever. Um, yeah, but no, nah, I just make profit. I just catch moves that I can and then just call it a day. I don't, I don't try to up my lot size. Like I'll use 0.50s on, on US 34 long last time to look at how much money I can make on 0.50s. You know what I'm saying? Um, when my account gets to, to certain points, then I actually go up to like standard lots and two lots on, on, on um, US 30. I'm not putting Confluence 3.0 on, on, on YouTube. You gotta probably wait like another two years before another before I put another Confluence video on YouTube. Every single couple years, I put a Confluence video on YouTube. So since I put up the most recent one, um, Confluence 2.0, then I have to go through Confluence 2.5 on YouTube, which is in a couple years. So probably in 2022, that's when I'm gonna put out Confluence 2.5 on YouTube. And then probably by 2025, 2026, that, that's, that's a year, that's when I'm gonna put out Confluence 3.0. Um, Confluence Triple X is gonna go on YouTube maybe, you know what I'm saying? 2028, 20, you know, so you gotta wait. <laughs> it's, 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 everything is calculated, you know what I'm saying? I do nothing about, like nothing random, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I do with my brand and everything else is calculated. So yeah, you, you're not gonna see Confluence 2.0, 2.5 for the next couple of years. So you gotta wait on that, man. When and how did you learn to detach from your emotions? Trust your analysis by being confident about what I know. Why so long? That's how I do things. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't question how men do things too much, you know? Like, like I said, like every Confluence video that I put on YouTube, it's always a couple of years. Confluence 1.0, cool. Confluence 2.0, um, Confluence 1.0 I put out on YouTube in 2016. Confluence 2.0 I put out on YouTube last year. So you gotta wait a couple of years. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wait. Tomorrow's not promised, hey. You know, next couple hours is, is not promised either. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I go about everything very, very positive. Um, so yeah, so, so you gotta wait on so You gotta wait, you know what I'm saying? You got no choice but to wait. Damn, bro, I met you like five years ago in IML event. You blew up like crazy. Yeah, you know, like when, when, when IML first came out, you know, um, they were like popping, popping, popping because that was, that was like a whole new thing in our niche. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Who's the guy I'm going, going live with? It's um, somebody from Africa, actually. He's um, in Wolf's Academy. Um, let's answer some questions and shit. Fuck, this damn button is not working, though. Here it is. Yo, you have to get on, bro. I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna, gonna be on for a tad bit longer. I got daddy duties and that kind of stuff to take care of. Which book do you use for learning how to trade? Zero, I use no, no book. No book, man. All just experience getting on the charts and learning charts 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 i really did not read that many books ftmo challenge is a is a come up if completed come um successfully um i mean i would think so yeah definitely i mean i have i have a few friends that actually use it um i mean they they like it i guess so hey Say something to Nigerian. Shout out to all my Nigerian followers. Um, Y'all are definitely fucking growing fast. <laughs> the trader community in Nigeria is definitely growing fast. So, you know, big up to y'all. Do I still take L's? Of course. You know, it's part of the game. It's either win, loss. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not win, draw. You know, it's, it's win, loss. Um, biggest difference, you notice trading US 30 versus US 30. There is no, no difference between US 30 Pro and, and US 30. That, the, the pro is only um, only takes effect when you're on currencies. That's when the spreads are lower and whatnot. But on US 30, it doesn't lower the spread. It's just normal. How much is your course, bro? Go on the website, wsatraining.com. Okay. Right. Yeah, wsatraining.com. Um, yeah, I'm up 
forty thousand right, right now, actually. Um, now my target for US thirty is twenty. My target for US thirty is like twenty five eight hundred ish. Twenty no twenty five seven fifty. Twenty five seven fifty. Um, yeah, I'm confident. I'm, I'm confident about that one. Yeah, twenty five seven fifty should be my target if everything actually maintains like how it is. Um, but like right now, it's doing pretty good though. Um, 30, 34, 35, that kind of shit. Am I buying or selling 30? Look at the fucking charts, bro. How would I be up? Period. If I was in one other direction. Oh, hey, that's good. That's good. Hey. Hmm. What else? What up? What is this? Live, live. Huh? Hmm. Yeah, she, she just wanted to, to flex, you know. <laughs> Nothing much. I can't be in your, in your life? Not really. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> um. If an in, if an intermediate trader think about your class, which one do you suggest? There's one fucking class and one class only. So there's not choices to the class. It's literally one one class. Like you're like there's options. Like whatever. It's it's one class. <laughs> That's savage. <laughs> you gotta be up front, man. Like, oh. <laughs> it's all good. Um, am I a marketer? I mean, I. Not directly, but I mean, I have a brand that I have to actually, you know, keep at at a certain, you know, pace. So I have to brand my my brand. So I mean, you could guess. I mean, I guess I guess. Blessings from Mandeville. Pick up yourself. Back home, you know. I'll be there soon enough. Um, ginger tea in the morning, definitely. That that's always a big blessing. Start start the day off with a cup of ginger tea and some honey, you know. Um, felt like U US 30 looked like a break in the retest uh, upside. How do you, bro, just analyze it, man. You got to understand what you're analyzing. I iMac or gaming computer? Both. I have my iMac over there. I have my <laughs> computer right here. You know what I'm saying? So why choose when you can have both, right? Remember that? Yes. I don't know where, where, where this dude is. Like, I don't... I don't know. I guess it's not going to be an interview today, guys. Don't ask questions if you haven't been on trading. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Good shit. Like, if you don't ask questions if you haven't been on trading view. You have to, Sammy? <laughs> what, what Sammy said. Yeah, nah. Um, that's the homie, though. Big up to Sammy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where he is right now. Miami or, or Canada? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, oh, wait. Is he back? Bro, you're not even... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where he is. No more personals. No more personals. You know what I'm saying? Just focusing on me. Because look, and, and I, I tell people this all the time, right? The only reason as to why I started to even slow down 
on um <laughs> the the only reason why I started to slow down a little bit on like my in-person classes because this is like where the the mentor and teacher side comes in, right? And only certain amount of people is gonna really understand th this concept, like right here, right? So whenever I, I taught an in-person class, I literally take five steps back. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to like dumb down my knowledge and then build my and build my knowledge back up when I'm back inside the the open world. You know what I'm saying? Um, versus when I'm not teaching, I, I'm only building up. Like I don't have to dumb down too much because you know you know what I'm saying. So it's like. I feel like I put out, I dumbed down my knowledge a lot when it came to in-person classes. I have to, I have to dumb down what I'm trying to actually break down and build it back up, dumb it down, build it back up, dumb it down, build it back up. And that could actually affect me at times, you know, as far as like growth wise. So I have to actually start to, um, like when I got out of teaching for a tad bit, I was able to just, you know, maintain that growth and not have to, to dumb it down, which is good. So that's why, you know, I don't mind, um, you know, like letting all the young guns, you know what I'm saying? All the young guns, you know, build up themselves and everything and just, you know, whatever. But to do it with integrity, do it with, do it with passion, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like, I talk about all, all the time. If you want to have, like, what, like, I've, I've actually gotten to over the years, cars, house, that kind of shit. Teaching can only get you so far. You have to be a good fucking trader also. You have to be a, a fucking good in, in other ways to actually get to certain levels. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you have to be able to not be not only be a good teacher, but also be a good trader. Not many people do both. I'm really good at, at, at both. I'm really good at teaching. I'm, I'm really good at trading. So that makes me able to actually, you know, move like how I move. Um, and you have to be smart with how you're investing your money as well. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be, be you have to be good at all those aspects of, of things if you want to actually if you want to be a super great mentor and a and actually like a figure inside the um, the trading niche. In a sense, you have to be good at teaching. You have to be good at trading. You can't just be good at teaching and not fucking know how to trade. You know what I'm saying? You have to be good at, at teaching and trading. Um, some people that trade good can't teach good. Some people that teach good can't trade good. I actually happen to be good at, very, at both, which, you know what I'm saying, I'm blessed to even be able to do that. Then you have to be the smart with how you're, you're, you're going about money that you're making. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's, that, that's what it comes down to. You have to be good at all those aspects to actually really, really, um, I'd probably say stand out, stand out in a sense, or really, really make a name for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you, some people are good at teaching, some people are good at trading. Not many are good at both. So that's where the difference actually, you know, lies. Been trying to learn off you for a while, then just join Wall Street Academy. That, that's where I'm at, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like saying this right here. Like, if, if you're in college and you have a business teacher, right? If your business teacher that doesn't have a business, doesn't that make you question, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like you have to be good at both. Some some teachers that go to college, like they're good at teaching, but they're not good at, actu at, at the actual profession that they're teaching about. You know what I'm saying? But the ones that are really good at both, that's when it's like, oh shit, bro, you're, you're doing it, you know? Where's the link? It's in my bio, it's, it's everywhere. Go in my bio. And, and and shout out to my boy Drewski as well. He got his he finally got his FIP tat. As you can see, I got mines. Like I said, up next for him is the crown. The crown, the crown in our FIP movement is what you get when you hit a certain um number amount. You know what I'm saying? As far as just overall net worth amount. You know what I'm saying? So like the the, the crown is definitely looks like a it's like one stepping stone to first getting the FIP tat, which makes it super fucking official. Get the crown once you hit a certain figure amount which is on that next level you know what i'm saying so um definitely that's up next for for drew right here people yo y'all gotta tell ryan to get his fucking tap tell, yo everybody comment on ryan's last last pick and be like yo get fip tatted get fip tatted for real man like ryan gotta get stamped who was my mentor i didn't have a mentor <laughs> 
what's the biggest barrier you had in overcoming your trading journey? Just um, ignoring people. You know, people are, are weird. <laughs> what to expect from, from your one-on-one -on -one session? What one-on-one -on -one session? What? Which one-on-one -on -one session are you talking about? Because those don't, those don't even exist. So which one-on-one -on -one session are you talking about? Because they don't, those aren't real. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who taught me? More self-taught, man. Get it together. Like my, like my his, like my story of you know everything is everywhere. <laughs> uh, session two of the torch. I don't know, man. Honestly, I mm, lost too much money. Have Confluence 2.0 here in South Africa. Yeah, shout out to you, man. Gain that knowledge from um, Confluence 2.0. 2.5 2 coming out in 2023. Wait on it. Wait on it. Just wait on it. How long did it take me to master US 30? I haven't mastered US 30 yet. I'm very good at US 30, but I haven't mastered it yet. <laughs> common sense not too, too common. Definitely, definitely. But um, appreciate everybody for, for coming on live. Um, like I said, everybody comment on Ryan's last photo, get FIP stamp, get FIP stamp because he is fucking tripping. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't got no tattoos. How can you be a light skin without no tattoos? Like, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the light skin community is very, very weird. You know, I'm still trying to figure them out. I don't get it, you know, but I'm going to let y'all. Thanks everybody for coming on. Peace out, peace out, peace out. And remember up next currency geek, get the next batch currency geek, currency geek. You know, if you're about your paper, you got to get Currency Geek. That's what it is. All right. So I'm going to let y'all. Peace out. Peace out.